YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. This is Dad Who Does. Today this is part of our continuing series on the LS engine rebuild. And I'm very excited for today. We're working on the cylinder heads today. And as many of you know, cylinder heads is where the magic happens. You can spend a lot of money on cylinder heads and really tune up your, your engine, your truck, or, or sports car with great cylinder heads. But this is a budget build, so I'm just going to rework the factory cylinder heads the best I can. You're going to see me go through a multi-part process in doing that. First, I'll clean the cylinder head. Second, uh, install the valve springs, install the spark plugs. And then finally, we'll install the heads and I'll take you through the torque sequence, which is a very important step in ensuring that we have a good seat. Stick around and I'll show you how I do it. The next step before getting the cylinder heads on is we need to get the lifters into the lifter trays and get the trays into the block. This video is getting pretty long so I'm going to break that out into a separate video. Click here to take you to the lifter install now. Okay, tap in our dowel pins. Okay. 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 This is the front. Great. Yo. Trying to hurry here when I should be just taking it easy. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. That's all. There she is. There she is. All right. Woo. Okay, now we're at the part of the show where we're going to lube up these bolts. I got plenty of assembly lube. I did not realize that these things came with some lube. I'm wondering if I had to even buy this, but you know what? I have it. Let's use it up. Let's not be stingy. Okay, well, that's it for that glove. Now let's talk about torque sequences. Now I have a Gen 4 LS engine. It can be a little confusing at first, but let me walk you through the process. So the first thing to know is that it's very important the sequence in which you tighten the bolts. It can really make the difference between having a head that's seated properly and one that leaks. So we want to start by following the sequence. Start here in the middle, one, then drop down two, then jump over to the left and the center three, then four, then five, then six, seven, eight, nine, and finally ten. Do not do bolts 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 at this time. So on that first pass, we're going to torque them down to 22 foot-pounds. Then we're going to go back and start all over again. We're going to use an angle torque meter to torque these to 90 degrees. And we're going to go through the whole sequence again. One, two, three, four, and so on. Finally, Going on through the final pass of bolts 1 through 10, we'll torque them an additional 70 degrees. Again, following the same sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. After we've done these main 10 bolts, these uh, M11 bolts, and we've gone through the sequence three times, then we can look at doing bolts 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And those just need to be torqued down to 22 foot-pounds. So we'll do those last. And it is so important that I have that torque sequence correct that I've got the paper parked right in front of my face during this entire sequence. Right now I'm finger tightening the bolts. Um, the one in the back I can't reach with my fingers so I'm using a little wrench there to get it somewhat tightened down. Okay, so now we're getting started. The number one bolt in the center. Number two drop straight down. Uh, looks like I got place my paper upside down, whoops. And so number three, I should be coming to the front, but instead, or I'm sorry, I should be going to the back, but instead I come to the front, which with the paper upside down means number four is more towards the back now. And then number five will be straight up from that. There we go. 
Uh, number six then will be second from the front. Again, my paper's upside down. And then number seven will be dead in the front. And then number eight and nine will be in the back. Kind of hard to get at. It looks like I'm monkeying with number nine now. I skipped number eight. And I noticed right away that it's very loose. And so I'm going to attempt to get it snugged up here. But the long arm of this torque wrench is not making matters easy. Uh, and at some point, I realized that I need a shorter wrench so I can do this faster. Again, this is what I believe to be the number nine bolt. I haven't even touched number eight yet. Okay, so finally I wise up, I get a shorter ratcheting wrench and just get that guy snugged up a little bit. Again, this is what I believe to be the number nine bolt. Okay, after all that, let's get on the number eight bolt with the torque wrench. Now this one's also fairly loose, so I have to do quite a few ratchets with the torque wrench to get it to engage. Okay, now the number nine. And then finally, the number 10 is right up front here. So I get that one down. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through and just double check that they're all exactly at 22 foot-pounds of torque. Super important that I have them exactly at 22 foot-pounds because from this point on, I'm gonna be torquing based on angles, not based on foot-pounds. So I wanna start at a good base. Okay, and they are. So that completes sequence number one. All right, so now I'm setting up to do my angle torque adapter. I've never used one of these before, so I'm getting it set up for the first time here on the number one bolt, which is dead center of my cylinder head. So, uh, all right, here we go. Start cranking her down. One, two, and that should get her to 90. Then to bolt number two, which is directly below bolt number one. And then for bolt number three, remember I accidentally inverted my paper. So while I should be coming towards the back, I'm actually gonna come towards the front, but it, at the end of the day, it doesn't make a difference. So there's number three. And so then number four will be on the back left, second from the back. All right. And then number five is directly above that in this second from the back center. Number six, I'm gonna come up second from the front here on the left. Move that to 90 degrees. Number seven, then, and I'm starting to question my paper direction here, but I'm gonna keep going. So then number seven will be right up front on the left. And number eight will be all the way in the back based on my paper orientation. And again, I'm questioning my paper here so I flip my paper around and I finally get it right. Number nine is up front and then number 10 is all the way in the back. And that's round number two. Okay, we're just gonna jump right into the next one. So there's torque number one, there's bolt number two. And I got the paper right this time, so bolt number three is towards the back center. And then there's bolt number four. And we'll just go ahead and cut it off right there. You get the idea. Cool, now I'm gonna put the rods in. All right, let's get these rockers on. All right, is there a torque spec on these rocker bolts? All right, now let's get these rocker arms on.
cool. Ready to put some oil in it. Okay, well that's it for today, folks. This is part of a multi-part series, so please click on the link in the description to take you to the next video in this series. We hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you got something out of this, please remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, that's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Dad Who Does.